going on uh, that you guys allowed the 41 first quarter points? Um, honestly, let me see. In all honesty, I think it was just more of just the second chance points. A lot of guys came in. A lot of guys were crashing the glass in the first half for sure. And we just had to kind of like, of course, it's something that we had to pay attention to when we game plan before the game. And we didn't really execute, I would say, in that area in the first quarter. So it's like, you know, guys were flying over us, grabbing rebounds, knocking it out back down to out the shooters. And it was just more and more shots just falling in for them in the first quarter. Then once we finally adjusted, I felt like that we took that extra step to kind of like take that away, in all honesty. Um, just the game plan. We locked into it, and we made sure we was there for each other. At the end of the day, we put the right guys in the right positions defensively to be able to talk and communicate and then just, <clears throat> I would say, just play on the string, you know, just playing, being there for each other, being in the right spot at the right time, and then just paying attention to just, like, the details of the game plan that we had. You know, we always wanted to send him left. We made sure he went left. If, we went, if he went back right, you know, we was there, high hands, no fouling, just really tried to stay disciplined on the defensive end. How much talk has there been amongst the guys about the trip, the importance of the trip? And do you personally kind of feel in the weight of the trip? Um, I mean, every day is a gift for me. So when it comes to just like the next game, I've always focused on that one game. And then we just take it one day at a time. When it, uh, and just like the conversations around the team, I don't hear really too much conversation about it. But you know, and just like the atmosphere and the vibe within the team, we know for a fact that this trip is important. So it's more of just like, I would say the atmosphere of the Masana and just like the demeanor of how we just like hold ourselves coming out. And we just know at the end of the day, we have to come out. We have to fight a war night in, night out. You know, it's not going to be hard. It's not going to be easy for us on a night to night basis. We have to make sure we stay locked in to just like our keys and our principles going down the stretch, especially with this trip. You know, we got a big one tomorrow. Play those guys two times in this, you know, next, I would say, what, four days to play tomorrow, two days in between play them again. So we just have to really just kind of stay locked in, stay together, in all honesty, and just keep having fun with the game. As a quick aside, how long have you had the necklace? Did we have to get a better look at it? Uh, the landlord necklace? Yeah. And the 21, I got, uh, my wife got it for me um, on my birthday when I was back in Washington, so I got it this year. And every time I get a chance to just really just kind of like put it with any type of outfit, I make sure I do. You know, she really feels good whenever she sees it on the pictures and stuff. I got to make sure I show off her gifts to, from me, <laughs> for me. Uh, at the end of the day, she's going to be mad at me. <laughs> You've done that. Thank you. Jason was saying that you thought you guys did a good job of adjusting to the physicality. Do you think it's, that's the physicality maybe this particular game, or do you think this is an indicator of kind of what it's going to be down the stretch of this last uh, I think it's uh, obviously what is going to be the, the last stretch of the season. Uh, we got to come out physical uh, from the beginning of the games. Um, they scored 40, 41 in the first quarter. And we can't have that, but I mean, I feel like we did a great job the whole rest of the game on the defensive end. So, um, yeah, we did pretty good. What did you do differently? Being more aggressive, um, being able to talk more on the defensive end and just stay, we stay connected. So, um, after the first quarter, we, we all came in and said that was, that was way too much. So. We just kind of adjusted from there, and good things happen. You just think of the way you guys, I mean, the one-point game there, I think seven minutes or something. I mean, was it the defense that kicked in that uh, just kind of made it to your side? Yeah, I mean, we just kept playing. Uh, we got some stops and uh, converted on the other end. So, for us, I mean, we got two of the best guys in, in the world. So, um, we got to uh, play defense and be and be great on that end, and so they can come down and be great on the other end. So, I feel like we did a great job of uh, in the second half of, of that, and it showed, and we obviously got the win. Is your playoff situation something you guys actively talk about? Uh, yeah, I mean, we know every game matters. Um, it's a lot of, I mean, obviously, it's, it's a lot of teams that are right in that little spectrum. So for us, like I said, every game matters, and we have to uh, take it as that each and every night. Uh, we can't take anybody lightly. We can't uh, play anybody by their record. And we have to come out and uh, just be aggressive and uh, be physical each and every possession. What do you think about these two games in the South? I mean, that's obviously could go a long way towards a title. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait to go out there and uh, play. Um, I feel like everybody else is excited as well. Uh, like I said, we all know what's at stake, so it's going to be a, a real, a real exciting two games, and uh, I can't wait to get out there. You told us before the game there was a different Utah team that you played tonight. What do you think uh, was key for you? Yeah, I think um, 
I thought the group after the first quarter, we you know held them under 25 points there. Um, that first quarter was kind of like a shoot around. Um, they were shooting, we were shooting. Um, and so I thought uh, our physicality started to come in in that second quarter. And then after halftime, after we talked about it, I thought the guys did a really good job. Uh, I think it was zero second chance points there in the second half. So being able to get the misses. And then I thought on the offensive end, just trusting each other. I thought um, we had some great looks at three, Timmy, PJ. Um, and so just the trust that they missed some early, but Again, in that second half, they went to him, and P.J. made some big threes for us. Timmy made some big shots for us. So just the, the trust that everybody has in, in that locker room, you know, where everyone's just talking about if we can make a couple threes, how easy the game can become. And so, um, again, we talked about Utah. They fought. They, they, you know, this is a hard place to, to win, and I thought the guys did a great job of executing down the stretch. Well, I think just uh, understanding, you know, where he's at and making him put the ball on the floor. He's he's one of the best at being able to catch and shoot uh, behind the three-point line. Um, but I think, again, just the physicality, uh, understanding where the game is being called and, and how you, sh you know, have to play at this time of the year. I thought we were, we were really good with our physicality uh, off the ball. Um, and then, uh, again, keeping them off the free throw line. I thought that was one of the big things there. Um, in the second and third, and also in the fourth quarter, is just keeping them off the free throw line. Do you have to say anything to these guys now with these two games coming up? Inside? No, I, you know, I think it's the game in front of us. And um, as we talked about starting off the trip, this was step one, game one. Um, um, we can say we can we maybe passed. Now it's uh, both teams coming off a of back to back. Um, understanding Sacramento is uh, one of the best teams in the league, um, tough place to play. So this is a great test for us. And so um, we'll look at what we need to clean up uh, as we go forward, and then um, we'll get ready for Sacramento.